Hello again. Got another whiskey to um, review for you. It's always a pleasure, never a chore. I'm a flat cap on the day to uh, pay homage to the great whiskey tubers. We always seem to wear them. And also to um, stop seeing the cut on my head. But never mind. This is a uh, Crag and Glen whiskey. It's a budget whiskey. We bought it from uh, Sainsbury's to make some uh, citrus whiskey for Christmas. As you can see, it just says blended Scotch whiskey, aged three years, matured in oak barrels. Well, that's just a bit of flim flam for people who don't know anything about whiskey because uh, it's got to be aged in three years in oak barrels just to be called whiskey. So it's a, a mix of um, space, uh, grain and malt whiskies. Screw top. I'm not really a, uh, a snob about screw tops. Some of the, when I lived in Germany, some of the best wines we used to drink had screw top, so that got rid of my suspicions. A little drink. Actually, looks quite golden in this light. It looked uh, sort of a light mahogany in the other light, but um, as you can see. Not leaving any traces on the glass, it's uh, quite thin, I think. Roll it around a bit, get some nose going. Put the top back on. As I say, this is only, it's uh, distilled and bottled in Scotland for Sainsbury's, so you only buy it there. It's their own sort of brand. Most supermarkets have their own brand. Smells quite mild. There's um, there's a little bit of uh, alcohol smell to it, and a little bit of fruitiness as well. It's not like green apples. Not much, not much of a smell to it. First of all, you can you can tell it's uh, quite young whiskey. It's a sort of a burn around, but it's actually more complex than I was expecting. It's um the mouthfeel is quite light, but there's quite a complex um, taste in it. Sort of an underlying oaky taste. Quite some sweetness to it. And um, that's about it, really. You feel the sort of whiskey burning in your mouth, but it doesn't burn on your throat when you swallow it. Um, a little bit of salt in there. Again, it's sort of like a sweet and sour, and there's a sourness like of um, unripe apples. And I would think it'd been in sherry casks because there's quite some sort of sweetness to it as well. The finish is sort of more or less on the front of your tongue, on the tip of your tongue. And it's not a very long finish either. But actually, for the money, it's not bad. So, thanks for watching. See you again soon.